Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another phenomenal reading. We do, right? And even the third eye agrees. She's, she's a little third eye here, Capricorn. <laughs> so I hope you guys are well, Capricorn. And before we begin the reading, I see message and love. Wow. <clears throat> so somebody is sending a beautiful message here. Yes, they are. And yeah, uh, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. They're accurate. Yes, they are. Uh, I'm a Silva grad. And then at the end, we do the tarot spread. Yeah, we do. So you get two different unique insights. If you want a free five-minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, you may get one of those. So let's see what else we have, uh, Capricorn, here. Uh, and I will be pinning my new astrology video uh, below, right, right in the comments. If you want to go check that out uh, to find out how the new moon is affecting you guys, because I do all 12 signs, right? All right, so we start with the romantic Capricorn, and uh, mm -hmm, we have the six of gems with it, and I'm not sure what uh, stone that is, but, you know, I would really love one, right? There's purple in the middle. I mean, I don't think it's amethyst, but... Anyway, uh, this reading, the romantic, and this card is the six of pentacles. This is generosity. Somebody wants to share with you or give you what you want or just be good to you. I feel like they do. And they're bringing a message of love. Here's the eagle. <clears throat> or, well, I don't know what bird he is, actually. Actually, he doesn't really look like an eagle. Uh, he's a black bird, it looks like. And, you know, this is midnight or around midnight or something. And here is the scroll. And uh, the scroll has the message. I feel like he already laid the message here and he's flying away now. So maybe somebody's going to test the waters with you or send you a message and then kind of, I don't know, wait. Like wait to, <clears throat> wait to see how you react possibly. That's a possibility here because the scroll is already down here on the, uh, you know, right on this rock here, right? And then we have love. And uh, she loves somebody, she does. There's two hearts here. And, uh, you know, she definitely does. Uh, she has a lot of feelings. They're showing the moon here uh, for somebody, mm -hmm. for your person, Capricorn, or maybe that is you. And, uh, yeah, I just ordered a new deck, too. Uh, it's different, and I like it, and I can't kind of wait to uh, do the readings with it. So today we're going to do a past, present, and future, but uh, we're not, you know... We're not kind of, you know, definitely we're not being strict about it because we're just not. So uh, about the placements, right? Past, present, future. Sometimes it comes out exactly like that and sometimes it doesn't, right? Let's see what we have, Capricorn, like the placements, right? Because time is, it's an illusion, right? The past is, uh, you know, part of the future and the future is part of the past. and It definitely can be because time is not linear. No, it's not. And, uh... Like if you're not really kind of studying spirituality or, you know, didn't already kind of learn about that, uh, that can sound like a real stretch, right? Yeah, it can. So we have coming to life, right? And uh, here's Chucky uh, Capricorn coming over to your house, a little doll. He's coming to life, right? <laughs> and so here's uh, this woman is dancing and she's doing a ritual. She is and the butterfly has kind of just like appeared before her. I don't even think it flew over. I think there's a little, these kind of, kind of gold pixie dust here, kind of like an aura. And, uh, yeah. And so there's a little bunch of hearts here and she's, uh, she's definitely celebrating coming to life. Somebody is sending you a message here and this is going to come to life. I feel like it is. Let's see, what we got uh, a beautiful relationship, the one ring circus. So maybe they were not a one ring circus. They were, uh, maybe a three ring circus or but this talks about somebody who's alone. So this person is alone, said uh, Capricorn. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. That's good, right? That way if you, you know, if you want to fight with them, right? They don't have any protection, right, Capricorn? Just kidding. <laughs> let's see what we have here. And uh, let's get some shuffles in. Yeah, see what we got for Capricorn. And we'll get one more here. And we're going to take this card here because it kind of wanted to come out. Four Pentacles. I feel like this one does too. <clears throat> 
And, oh, I didn't even cut the cut the deck, huh? That's okay. Oh, the cards that come out are the ones that are supposed to come out. That's why when they fall out, those are them too, right? Nine of Wands, look at that. Magician. Page of Cups. Tower. Queen of Wands. Mm-hmm. So we have the page Capricorn down here in the heart, you know, in the heart of the matter. And so, or, you know, at the center of the reading, I, I could say, and you know, the pages sometimes there are in this reading, it's about a message, right? Because we have, he's a messenger. We have the card message, but mm -hmm, in this reading it is because sometimes they can talk about like somebody who's immature or, uh, maybe a little childish or can talk about a child. It can talk about a new, a new start. See what else we have. The Hierophant. And we have <clears throat> the World card. Okay. So we have to cover her up. <clears throat> because she's, you know, she's a rebel, right? She is. And, uh, you know, Capricorn, in this reading, somebody really learned. Because we have the Hierophant, who is a teacher here. And he is next to uh, the World card. Yeah, I'm trying to put this can't, this light here without... Kind of blinding myself here. And so, yeah, this is, somebody learned a lesson because the world card is maturity. It can be, uh, especially next to the Hierophant. Like somebody really learned, right? He has the keys. His hands are up in the air. Like, you're, you know, you better, you better follow my wisdom type of thing. Or, yeah, somebody learned. And now a cycle ends. Some type of cycle here. And, uh, yeah. Whatever that cycle is, maybe they have to be alone. The one ring circus. Maybe they have to be single, right? I mean, it's definitely a possibility. Okay. So let's clarify these cards. I kind of want to have fun today a little bit with these cards. Let's go ahead and clarify them. Why is the four of pentacles there? We're just doing things different today. Why is that four of pentacles there for Capricorn, please? The here the uh the Empress. Mm hmm A lot of majors here, right? We have the Empress, the Magician, the Tower, the Hierophant, and the World card. Yeah, half the reading is uh majors for sure. Or more, maybe. So let's see what we have. And four of cups reverse, nine of swords. You might have been worried about things, Capricorn. This could be the other person who's who's uh, worried. Somebody knows Capricorn. Your person knows. Somebody knows in this reading that there's a missed opportunity and it is very uh, disheartening. This person had a missed opportunity with you. Yeah, remember the readings can be switched, all right? Nine of Wands. Let's, let's go ahead and clarify that. Why is that nine there? Why is that nine there, please? And the magician. Okay, we have some confir confirming cards, repeating, duplicates. Why is it page there, please? Why is the page of cups in the heart? Why is the page of cups at the center of the reading? The devil, this card wanted to come out with it. We're gonna take it, the ace of swords. Uh, that may be you, Capricorn, it may be. Uh, but I feel like somebody here, this person here is kind of, I feel like they have major clarity about what they want. They're coming to talk to you. They're bringing you this offer with this page of cups. They're going to tell you they felt stuck without you. Yep. The devil and the ace of swords. They're going to tell you that <clears throat> they might tell you they were afraid to be without you. It's possible. Because this one ring circus guy's coming alone, but he's way up here on this island on, uh, you know, this kind of big stone island here. It's red and, you know, and then we have the, in the ocean. So this is not a good place to be. He's on this uh, elephant here. He could fall, you know, the elephant might say, I'm tired now and I need to go, uh, I don't know, play with the baby elephant with my baby or something like that, right? So this is really stuck. 
This person could be coming alone. And I feel like he's the person who's up here. He's going to, he wants to jump off. Maybe it's a woman. It doesn't, I think it's a woman here, but she wants to jump off here. The one ring circus. She feels stuck. This is a six. This is a priority. It's important to jump down off of that elephant. And honestly, for this relationship to come to life, Capricorn. Yeah. So here, this is, they're coming to tell you they want a new beginning with you. And they could be afraid. They could be a little bit afraid. Or caution, cautionary, cautioning. They might be because the nine of wands is twice here. Right? This nine of wands is, you know, he's a scaredy cat. He says, well, I got my bandage on and, you know, but he's still being resilient. Yeah, resilient is, you know, right? And here's the other one who, you know, looks more like, well, if you screw with me, you know, it, you're toast, right? So here he is, uh, definitely even, yeah. And so this is somebody who's uncertain, uh, but there's something they want. So they're willing to hold out for it. That's why they're holding the wands. Like that's why they are the wounded warrior. I've already been kind of beat up in a thus far. And so, but I'm being resilient. So there's something they want. And you know, uh, this is a completion. Like there's endings here. The nines are completions and the tower is here to kind of bring it all down. So maybe one of you guys thought this was a missed opportunity for sure. All worried, like worried about it. Yeah, no criticism here, but very worried. Nine of swords, four of cups with the nine of wands next to it. Maybe you thought this was really over Capricorn. And you know, the wounded warrior is interesting because at some point he asked himself, do I really want to keep going? Yeah, he did. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's worth it in this reading. The romantic and generosity. Yeah, this person is romantic and this love is important to them. And balance the six of pentacles. And sharing. Tell them to, tell them to share some of those pentacles, those uh, physical pentacles, right? They're money, right? And so here we have, and you know, over here, the four of pentacles. <clears throat> and we have the empress. This person definitely wants to hold on to you. Yeah, we have somebody who definitely wants to hold on to some, the other person in this reading. And this is about, you know what? I've been beat up. I'm going to be resilient. I want to manifest this. <clears throat> Possible a marriage comes to an end, the tower and the hierophant. This can also be, I learned, I learned a lesson. The hierophant's uh, the teacher. So I learned a lesson, <clears throat> excuse me, and it was kind of hard to take with the tower. Maybe it was kind of, kind of shocking, but I feel like it was more like a, a huge shake up here when somebody learned this lesson. It's this person. They, he, this person could be, they might've loved you before, but they, maybe they went their own way with the one ring circus. They definitely could have, but now they want to share Capricorn. Let's get a card. Why is that hierophant there? Why is that? Let's get it one more clarifier. Why is that there? We have the eight of cups. See, somebody walks away from a marriage or something right here. And it could happen like boom with the tower. It could happen really fast. <clears throat> it could be definitely be intense, right? This is Scorpio energy, the tower. Scorpio is about intensity and power and depth, things that are very deep. The Queen of Wands. And why is the Hierophant there again? Why is that there? I'm going to call it the reading if you want to put them down, huh? All right. And a card for clarify the world, please. Clarify the world card. Clarify that world card. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody's getting, yeah, you're going to get your wish in this reading. This is a wish fulfillment, how I see it. 
Jeez. Jeez Louise. Why is this like this? It's okay. <coughs> Mm -hmm. I feel like this, that. Yeah, it's the window. The sun is coming in. Hold on one second, you guys. Let me close this because it's glary. Okay, I beg your pardon, you guys. Yeah, um, that's yeah, that's kind of really not going to work out. So, uh, yeah, and so getting back to the reading, Capricorn, is the Hierophant twice, the Eight of Cups in the reading, the Tower. This person learned their lesson. Maybe they had to be single. Maybe you had to leave them alone, Capricorn, so they could really kind of learn this. That is a definite possibility in this reading. And they're coming to tell you that, yeah, they made this decision, right? Ace of Swords. Plan, decision. Mm-hmm. This is learning karmic lessons for sure. The Hierophant and uh, the World card here, definitely. And down, especially underneath the, t underneath the tower with the, with the Hierophant. Over here is the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> right so the queen in this deck she's not very uh she's not very attractive so she said you know i am lucky right <laughs> i am lucky i'm not saying you guys i'm just saying this card here it always cracks me up right she looks like she's kind of serious and sad and just all kind of stuff here okay and so we have the knight of cups with it uh this is the love offer this is somebody coming with a, a passionate love offer and uh, they feel really inspired and there's some kind of energy in here, like I don't care what anybody says or what anybody thinks, because that's kind of really the energy of the Queen of Wands. It's also very spiritual. Yeah, and temperance is here. This is spiritual growth here. This is like I got my act together sometimes with temperance. Living with virtue instead of vices. Yeah, that's what temperance is. Yeah, and this that can explain that this person learned their lesson, Capricorn. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure what they did, but you know, could maybe they broke your heart, something like that, because there's worry here. Nine of Swords, and uh, Knight of Wands is here with the Hierophant. They could be coming to marry you here. They might be Taurus, because here's the love offer here. They want a new beginning right here. Is what they're telling you. Page of Cups, Ace of Swords. And they're holding out to manifest this with you. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, he holds out. He, like he's resilient. Yeah. Get one more card here. And we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah. And so, you know, it's possible this person was married. It's possible with the One Ring Circus, you know. And then down here, the Ten of Wands is here. This is... Uh, letting go of a burden. Yeah, definitely with the tower. So this burden, whatever it is, it could be another relationship. I'm not, it's not really clear exactly what it is. It could have been a belief system or possibly that was maybe, uh, you know, keeping them away from you possibly. Hey, a belief system, you know, somebody believes one way and you believe another. It's hard to get together with that person. That could be happening here too. But, you know, Capricorn, uh, not even a but here. In the outcome is you're getting your wish here. Nine of Cups and the World card. This is coming full circle. Your wish here. And this is learning a lesson. Yeah, the World card. Because it's it's about maturity. And stepping through each uh, card, basically. Or each, you know, each kind of card in the Major Arcana. So this is somebody who experienced a lot here. Right? Yeah. I'm going to end the reading, Capricorn. 
I'll put that. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll put the link if you'd like to go see uh, my new moon video. Yeah, definitely. I explained it pretty. I explained it well. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.